Hi, this is Suzanne from SL Crafts and today I'm going to show you how to create one of these amazing little caravan boxes. Now this is another upcycling project and as you can see the base opens up like this so you can put things inside it, use it as a gift box or maybe as a keepsake box or like this one you could turn it into a money box. The choice is yours. So let's get started. It may come as no surprise to you that I am once again using an empty Pringles tube for this project. So I've already cut off one of the ends and I've measured six and a half centimetres down all the way around. You may find it helpful to use a piece of card here just to get a straight line and then cut it out using a craft knife. Then cut this piece in half like this and just start to straighten it out slightly. Next you're going to need one of these cardboard Dairy Lee cheese spread boxes. Just take off any of the seal that's still hanging off there. and then trim off the inside rim from the base piece. Then these need to be glued to the inside of the Pringles tube. Now you're going to need some strong, clear, all-purpose glue for this. Just put a line of glue along one of the inside edges. And then carefully place one of the Dairy Lee box pieces inside it, pushing against the sides. making sure that it's flat against the edge. Then do the same on the other side. You can use a couple of pegs here just to hold it in place until it dries. Then score a line between the two edges like this. and cut it into the sides and remove this part of the rim with scissors. so that you can then fold the pieces in like this to form the base of the caravan. Next you need to measure the base. So this one is about six and a half centimeters by 10 centimeters. And you want to draw this out onto some cereal box card, then add two centimeters to each of the short ends and then cut it out. Then score the two lines and round off the corners on one end so that once it's in place it's easier to open and close. So now you need to cover that end section with thin paper or you could just paint it.
and then do the same with the two base tabs just to make them nice and neat. Glue the straight end section of the base like this. and make sure that it's all lined up and pressed down securely into place. For this one, I made an extra score line on the base and just stuck it down so that there's only a small gap there. But for now, I think I'll keep this one as it is and see how it goes. OK, so the next thing you need to do is draw a line approximately four centimetres up from the base and using some PVA glue, stick some paper or thin card to it. I'm using an old used envelope for this one. Just press it down flat. And carefully trim off the edges. And once both sides are done, do the same to the front and the back and to the base. Now if you've used paper like I have, then it might start to peel off like this as you open and close the box. So I think I'm going to have to do the same as this one. And measure four centimetres in from the end and then bend it backwards. and glue the rest of the base down. then just apply some PVA glue to the other end where it was peeling and just press that down into place. Now for the top section, I'm using pieces from a used greeting card and because it has lines on it I'm just trying to measure it up so that the, the, so that the lines match up. Then trim around the edges with scissors. Now 
and to give those raw edges a nice finish just where they meet I'm just going to go around them with a silver pen or you could use some paint Now for the little added details, I've got a template on my blog which you can download and print out and I've gone ahead and cut all of mine out of some used greeting cards. So you're going to need two black circles for each wheel and then stick them together like this and then glue that smaller circle which I've coloured in with my silver pen, glue it to the centre. I've also gone around the edge of all the other pieces with silver pen just to give them a nice highlighted sort of chrome effect. So the windows just need to be glued onto their frames. and the door is made up of these three pieces. When you glue the wheels on, just make sure that they're lined up with each other and that the caravan stands up straight. Then before you put the back and front windows on, just bend them slightly just so that they'll stick better to that curved edge. For the trailer hitch, you need to glue these two pieces together so that it's nice and strong. Then take this rectangular piece and roll it up tightly. put a little bit of glue just in there 
and then push the roll through the hole in the hitch. Hold it there until it dries. And just add a little bit of glue to the top and to the base of the roll and just stick those little holes that came out of the hitch pieces onto each end. This piece then attaches here to the base so that once it's dry you can use it to open the box. You may just need to adjust the height of the stabiliser there, just so that the caravan stands up straight. Now you can leave your little caravan like this, or if you want it to be a money box, then you can cut a money slot in the top, using this as a guide, which is included in the template. And to add some details to this blue one that I made, I cut out some little travel labels from the front of this card pack. And just stuck them on at random, giving it a nice well-traveled look. And there they are, three little upcycled caravan boxes.